welcome to raw online today we are going to discuss hepatorenal syndrome i am dr sukanya what do you understand by hepatorenal syndrome this is defined as a deterioration of kidney function or acute kidney injury so now the definition has been changed so once a patient develops acute kidney injury which occurs in patients with either chronic liver disease like advanced cirrhosis or even in acute liver failure so acute kidney injury can occur both in chronic liver disease as well as in acute liver failure and this hrs is characterized by decreased renal blood flow so main problem here is decreased renal blood flow so it is somewhat similar to a pre renal failure but one major difference is this is unresponsive to volume expansion unlike pre renal azotemia or pre renal acute kidney injury so this is the definition that is deterioration of renal function either in acute liver diseases or in chronic liver disease but we see it more commonly in cirrhotic patients this is characterized by reduced renal blood flow but is unresponsive to volume expansion so hrs is the diagnosis of exclusion so you need to exclude other causes of acute kidney injury and it is believed to be a functional pathology why because it gets reversed with liver transplantation so this is a functional renal dysfunction there is no structural pathology in the kidney there is only a functional dysfunction which gets reversed after liver transplantation now the international club of ascites they have accepted this kdgo criteria for acute kidney injury and they have updated the definition of type 1 hrs which is now called as hrs aki and type 2 hrs which is now called as a hepatorenal syndrome ckd so we'll discuss this in detail now this is a old classification this still holds good this is hepatorenal syndrome types so previously it is classified as type 1 hepatorenal syndrome and type 2 hepatorenal syndrome based on the rapidity of decline of the kidney function because type 1 hrs is defined with i mean is characterized by very rapid progression of renal dysfunction within a short period of time like the definition goes like this at least a two fold increase in serum creatinine to a level more than 2.5 mg per deciliter in a period of less than 2 weeks so remember the number 2 the magic number 2 for the definition of type 1 hrs so at least two fold increase in serum creatinine to a level of more than 2.5 mg per deciliter during a period of less than 2 weeks okay that is called as type 1 hrs so here you have a rapid progression or rapid decline in the kidney function within a short span of time of 2 weeks duration now what is type 2 hepatorenal syndrome so here there is slow decline of renal function over a prolonged period of time so this is defined as kidney function impairment which is less severe and is characterized by slower increase in serum creatinine of more than 1.5 mg per deciliter and it's usually associated in patients with refractory ascites so this is older classification of hepatorenal syndrome type 1 hrs where there is rapid fall in kidney function and type 2 hrs which is less severe slow fall in kidney function but now this has been renamed and this is a new criteria for hrs hrs type 1 is now renamed as hrs acute kidney injury and hrs type 2 is now renamed as hrs non acute kidney injury now the kdgo guideline for acute kidney injury is incorporated in the definition of hrs right so what is the hrs aki what are the criteria for this absolute increase in serum creatinine of more than 0.3 mg per deciliter within 48 hours or if the urine output is decreased to less than 0.5 ml per kg body weight for more than 6 hours if there is oliguria and if the percentage increase of serum creatinine is more than 50% from the baseline within 3 months so these are the criteria for acute kidney injury like any other acute kidney injury the same criteria kdgo guidelines holds good for here also hrs aki is characterized by absolute increase in serum creatinine of more than 0.3 mg per deciliter within 48 hours or oliguria for more than 6 hours or more than 50% increase in serum creatinine from the baseline so these are the criteria for hrs aki so if it doesn't fit into this 
then you classify the patient as having HRS non acute kidney injury. Again, under that, you have two categorization HRS AKD, that is acute kidney disease, and HRS CKD, that is chronic kidney disease. That is, if there is a decrease in the estimated glomerular filtration rate, that is EGFR, if it is less than 60 ml per minute for less than 6 months, then you classify these patients as having HRS AKD. And if the fallen GFR of less than 60 ml per minute is there for more than 3 months, then you call them as HRS CKD. So, this is a newer classification of hepatorenal syndrome, hepatorenal syndrome AKI and hepatorenal syndrome non-acute kidney injury.